Let's turn to weather now. Meteorologist Darla Givens joining us with your first alert forecast with a little bit of Friday frost, it sounds like, Darla. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's right. You know, the winds are going to go away. And as your first alert, we're going to see some frost coming our way on Friday. It's only for a day, but just brace yourselves. It is going to get a little chilly out there. So we're going to see clear and cold conditions by Friday morning. Um, and if you do get the frost developing across the area, just watch your step because those walkways, you could get some ice crystallizing on there. And also cover your frost sensitive plants and a windshield hack for you. Cover it with a towel. All the moisture will go on the towel. You just remove the towel. You don't have to scrape your um, windshield. Or keep a spray bottle with alcohol and water, and you can keep it in your car. And because alcohol freezes at 100 degrees below zero, so it won't freeze in your car, but you spray it on, and then you'll be able to wipe off that frost, no problem, the ice across the area. Just how cold is it going to get? We're going to see temperatures dipping into the 30s and 40s by Friday morning. So in the afternoon, though, we're going to warm up, and we're we're going to warm up for the weekend. So get ready, start making those plans. I know it's only Wednesday and Curtis is going to tease me, but that's all right because you guys have had a very windy week and you're looking for some relief in sight. So take a look. We'll see mostly sunny skies. We'll see 66 degrees in the Delta. I don't know, maybe you want to get on the boat, go do some fishing. 63 degrees here in the valley. The winds are definitely going to be calmer. And this is just the start of the warm up. This high pressure is going to remain in control of our weather pattern. So we'll see those 60s for the weekend, but even until next week, we're going to see mid and Upper 60s, even some 70s in the forecast. So we're going to see a nice warm up headed our way. Let's talk about those winds now. We're still seeing some wind speeds 15 to 17 miles per hour across the valley. Here are some of the gusts that we're seeing 30 miles per hour for Vacaville, 23 in Sacramento. These winds are going to continue through the evening hours, but then overnight in most locations, those winds will start to taper off and die down. And by uh, Thursday morning's commute, we'll see those winds. Really tapering off a bit. We will still see some occasional gusts to 15, 17 miles per hour across the area, but for the most part, we are done with the wind event um, across the region until about um, the weekend. We'll see some blustery conditions perhaps through the Bay Area. Other than that, take a look at this seven day forecast. It is a great one, except for those chilly temperatures headed our way on Friday morning. We're going to see temperatures staying warmer than average uh, throughout the rest of this week and into the Weekend and take a look ahead at next Wednesday, 72 degrees. It's going to feel a little bit like spring and unfortunately not like winter, Curtis.